This week's message to Congress, um, showing my support to John Deaton for suing the SEC to help protect XRP retail investors. I'm going to read the last paragraph first. I'm here to show support and gratitude to John Deaton, who was suing the SEC because the SEC is suing Ripple. Mr. Deaton's selflessness offers his time and expertise to help protect innocent XRP retail investors globally. You can visit crypto-law.us, click on Connect to Congress, or International Connect to Congress. Once there, your senators will populate, it's already done for you, the subject line, they, there is a prefabricated message that you can use if you choose so. I used a few of the words in that, but I also created my own message, and I'll be sending it after I finish this video. The subject line, XRP retail investor supporting John E. Deaton suing the SEC. XRP retail investors need your help, Congress. Because of the corrupt actions of William Hinman, innocent XRP investors are now in a ruinous position in their investment in XRP. XRP investors understand the use case of Ripple's native token and are aware of the loss they will endure if no investigation of Mr. Hinman's action happens. I'm asking Congress to review empower oversights gathered evidence of Mr. Hinman's dishonest actions of ignoring clear directives from the ethics office to not meet with a list of entities in which he had a direct financial interest. SEC's internal emails show Mr. Hinman communicating and repeatedly meeting with an entity from which he received millions of dollars while in office, including on the same day that entity had IPO business before his division. I'm a retail XRP investor waiting patiently on the sidelines for Congress to begin the process of the needed investigation of Mr. Hinman's actions. That's the message I put together. I am, I'm very grateful for someone like John Deaton because he is helping, in my opinion, a common average person who did put her own time and money on the line for a future huge gain in a, I believe, the new payment system, Ripple and XRP. I'm an XRP retail investor that would never be heard without the help of an attorney at law like John Deaton is helping innocent little people like myself. That's how I feel. I learned more about him today. I took the time to visit his Deaton Law Firm website, and he helps protect people from... He defends people that personal injury and stuff like that. And I didn't know that about him. So he helps a lot of people who, you know, he helps a lot of people with personal injury lawsuits. But now he's helping people, innocent people like myself, not lose the valuable asset that they hold. And if you do follow crypto and you know what's going on, I would think that at this stage, even, even it sunk into me, it finally sunk into me that I am a retail investor who was not supposed to own XRP. XRP is for um, financial institution uses. It's like a commercial grade crypto I'm not giving that up, and now I understand 
the gold standard from years ago. History is repeating itself in a modern way, and I'm not giving up that XRP. No way. That's why I suggest self-storage, self-banking, learning, because I'm not giving that up. So thank you, John Deaton. Now I'm going to click Submit. This is my weekly letter to Congress, and stay tuned for next week video. I'll be writing again next week. I want Congress to hear and learn that there are more common average people like myself that will lose a lot when we had the guts to go for it, when nothing was supporting it and it was being taken away from us. Thank you, John Deaton. I'll include his websites, his websites links below. Thank you again. Until next week, have a good one. Bye, everybody.